Hi, in this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of the AOMI Cyber Backup Program. Uh, we're using the free version, and they have a couple other versions as well, depending on your needs. So this will back up Microsoft Hyper-V and also VMware uh, ESXi. It will not do VMware Workstation, which is too bad, because that's what I'd really like to use it for. So for the free version, if you go to their website here, a number of uh, VMs for Hyper-V 3, but for ESXi, it's unlimited for some reason. And then they have the other options here, depending on what you do, and then um, pricing accordingly. So if you go to this, you know, the pricing page here, they're having a uh, deal here. So you see as you bump this up, you know, the more VMs, the more it costs you, unless you want to do the unlimited deal right there. But they do have the free one, which is what, you know, if you want to try it out, at least you could do that. So you have your, uh, once you install it, you'll have your console, web-based console, and the first time it'll try and connect, you'll probably get an error in your browser saying, you know, it's not a secure site because it's, you know, not an HTTPS site. And you just have to allow it and go through. And then you'll have to uh, configure your host. Since this is Hyper-V running on the same computer here, I just have to put in the IP address of this computer with the username and password that I'm using to connect it to the uh, cyber backup. And now that I'm in here, I have my overview and you could... Uh, Add a different view if you want to see other statistics or, or manage the view, get rid of stuff, refresh the view, and so on. Then you have your upgrade options here. And then the next section, you have alerts here. Don't have any alerts. And then backup tasks. So here's my backups. I've done some already. So I did a uh, Windows 11 backup with two VMs and a Linux backup with one. And you could go to the details here. And you can see I got two VMs there, and I could actually run the backup from there, and I have my recovery and the progress. And then same for the Linux. Just like that. And you can run it from here, edit it if you want to do that. Restore from here and so on. And you have your backup log. So here's my one backup I did, a full backup of my two Windows VMs. And then I did a full and an incremental for the Linux uh, VM. And you could obviously go to the details here again and see the information. And then the source device, you know, if you want to change it between Hyper-V and VMware, you could do it here. Storage, you could do local storage, which is what I did. And you could also do network storage. Then you have the backup management, history versions. So you can see here I have my two backups for Linux on each one of the Windows 11, one backup. Tells you the size and so on. Same kind of options here. Then restore records. If you did any restores, they would show up here. And then you have your settings. Uh, email notifications, security. I unchecked this because it kept on timing out here. And then if you want to check for updates. Operation log. You can see what you've been doing. Uh, so right here, I was putting in the wrong password. So that's what these errors are. And then it showed where I added my uh, storage and so on. And then if you want to add some other users, you could do it here. And then license codes as well, if you want to do any upgrades. So if you were to do a backup task, you could go create a new task. Make sure you change this to the appropriate one. And then you select devices. So I can't pick anything because I've already done my three VMs. So they're grayed out here. But that's how you would add one. Then you would pick the, you know, you could schedule it and that kind of thing. You do this, run this backup cleanup too. I'm going to turn that on. You want to keep your backups clean and get rid of, uh, you know, set your retention period and so on. And then you got your scheduling if you want to do that. Okay, so let's say you wanted to do a restore. I have this Ubuntu running here. Get back in here. See, the only thing that's different, I did the original full backup, and then I put this ISO file on there, and then did my incremental backup. So I want to restore back to where before this ISO file was here. So if you try and restore it, back to the full backup, Start restore. It says the virtual machine, virtual machine needs to be shut down, so let's go ahead and do that first. And 
Okay, restore to original location. Actually, let's cancel it and start over again, make sure we're doing the right one here. So we're gonna do the full backup to original location. Start restore, confirm. So obviously this is gonna take a few moments here to uh, do the restore, so I'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. Okay, so our backup is complete. Now it's under the restore records uh, right here, so you can look at the details. When it, was, when it was restored, the target, how long it took, and so on. All right, so now that that is restored, let's go into Hyper-V and start it up and see if that ISO file is gone. Okay, so we're back in and that ISO file is gone. It did take a little longer to start up than I would have liked. I don't know if that was a one-time thing, so let's go ahead and shut it off and try it again here. Okay, so that was a little better this time, so not too bad. So like I said, ISO file's gone, so we reverted back to the original full backup. So that seems to have worked just fine here. And also I wanted to show you too, when you look at the checkpoints, you can see the AOMI Cyber Backup checkpoints listed in your Hyper-V Manager. Just to give you a little more information there. Then also when you go to your VM uh, backups, where you put your files, you know, your destination for the backups, you'll have a folder here. And then you have your backups, full and incremental. And then for each of the windows has their own folder, just like that. So, you know, so, uh, so far it looks pretty good. So like I said, if you want to do some uh, Hyper-V uh, backups, you might want to give this a shot. And if you have, don't have anything for your ESXi host, you might want to give this a shot as well. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You could download the trial and or the free version at least and try it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.